Oh man, today, today is Monday. At the time of this being uploaded, Christmas is tomorrow. Today, I don't know when exactly this will be uploaded, but let me give you an idea of what's going on. So sitting right here on this side, Project Pepto 1998 Acura Integra Turbo B20. That's kind of just sitting on ice, that's sitting over there. Right here, I have Betty White just doing her thing. The budget Civic sitting over there pretty much ready to go now that Civic is for sale but I'm not gonna really push it until after the holidays because right now it's not a good time to sell a car but we're not worried about that we're not worried about any of those cars what we are worried about is going to be right here in just a little while and in this video right now we're about to start the next project. And now, you're watching the Roses Are Red, Fireworks Are Scary, Back Up, Put It In Reverse, Terry, channel of YouTube. Welcome to Bodie Vision. Hey, so what is up and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me <clears throat> on another video. So today, I'm waiting on Taylor to come by. I just texted him and told him to be careful because we've been getting a lot of rain and it's pretty muddy pretty crazy over here so as soon as he pulls up I'm gonna see if we can unload the car maybe out front and then then pull the car around because I don't want him to get his truck all muddy and I don't want him tearing up the grass any more than it's already torn up alrighty so here it is the GC this is the beginning of the paint job What's up, Taylor? How's everything going, man? Pretty good. No complaints. I'm excited to uh, get this thing painted. It really worked out, like timing-wise, because I've been kind of wrapping up some stuff on it, and then you had an opening, and you know, it's one of those things where I know it probably would have slacked on like actually making the time to get it painted. So I'm really, it worked out perfect because it's gonna look so much better when it's painted. Right. And I have a project in mid-January, and I was like, what can I do? Let me text you. And yeah. I texted you, what, two days ago, and here we are. Yeah. Yeah. No, it worked out. Like it would have worked out perfect because I just redid some of the exhaust and like fixed a few things on it. And I mean, there's still stuff I need to do, but it's kind of was gonna go on the back burner for a while, and it's not really in a position where I can drive it all that much. So it's like it was just gonna sit for the next while anyway so like right. One more timing thing is perfect ask before you leave because i always got to kind of have like a little meeting even though with taylor it's not really a meeting <laughs> it's just pretty simple anything that's black leave it black anything that's red go red anything else crazy that you can think of or just just go for it just whatever you want to do if you cool. come up with an idea and you think like oh this will look really cool i'll probably think it looks cool too so cool for sure well alrighty, taylor we'll see you later i'm right. gonna go ahead and get the car pressure washed get it cleaned off and then get it over to the shop and then start sanding it down and you guys will see the whole process <laughs> This car and or any other car that I'm getting on the very first day or day one of painting the car, the first thing that I always do is I want to wash it down and I just use a scuff pad and that really scratches and really messes up the clear coat. Well, it messes it up if you weren't going to be painting the car, but that gets all the contaminants and everything that could be on the surface, like wax, grease, or oil, or anything of that nature. I want all of that to be gone because I want to start off with a clean surface because if you're sanding the car with wax on it then you're just kind of working in the wax a little bit more than when you go to put on that primer sealer or base coat it's not going to work out underneath there 
really nasty stuff. So we are already definitely making some good headway. The reason why I like to pull the wheels off is because as I'm coming by doing all the body work and everything with my airline, I don't like the airline to be pinched underneath there. And also I want to take them off to prevent all kinds of dust or any body filler or just anything on them at all. Then once the car is all prepped out, it's going to be prepped on this side. We're going to put the wheels back on and then put it over to this side. So right here on my table, I have everything that I'm going to be using to do all the body work and I got to get the filler and stuff like that and I had it out already but I'm going to go ahead and move it over there so that way all my stuff is just on that table and I can kind of just work in that one little small area and get a lot of stuff done. Now just as I'm getting into it, the first thing that I noticed is the trunk. It doesn't need any body work whatsoever, so that was just 180 to get some of that really rough stuff off, and now it's finished with a 220, and then I kind of want to make my way around the car. I like to do one panel at a time, rather than picking this dent over here, picking that dent over there, so on and so forth. I just want to focus on one area. When I'm done with that one area, for example, the trunk, I'm not going to touch the trunk again until we get primer, and I'm not going to move on to this door until I'm done with this quarter. So speaking of this quarter, I pushed this dent out right here as much as I could from the inside and that came out a whole bunch. And then there was also just this little ding right here. Now you can see the little ding from the outside of the car before you even mess with it at all. But as soon as you get a block on it and you start blocking it, that block is gonna sand down the high spots and it's not even gonna touch the low spots. So this right there at the tip of my finger, that's still regular old clear coat, hasn't been sanded at all and same scenario for this down here. So that's gonna expose our dents by using a block and the block that I used was just this one right here. And I have a whole bunch of these and a whole bunch of different sizes. So now that we found those dents, I wanna go ahead and just take some sandpaper, maybe some 80 grit with my hand and really scuff up this area in here that wasn't sanded at all because we wanna make sure the surface is nice and rough before body filler goes on there. So that's looking pretty good in this car. I don't want to jinx it, but I think it's going to be relatively straightforward. I'm so used to working on the last project that I did was the wide body Acura RSX build and that I had to mold a rear over fender to the back. So everything was done basically from scratch. I had to do all that body work and make it seamless. And that's, that's just kind of got me thinking that all body work is that hard. But in reality, this is done right here. This rear quarter, that's about done as well and we're just going to keep making our way around the car so in this video i just kind of wanted to show you guys the new project i kind of wanted to get into it a little bit starting to tear the car down show you a little bit of body work in my next video we'll go into body work a lot more into detail and then we'll get this car going in this should be a relatively quick project and then coming up after this car i have some really big plans but we'll get into that a little bit later on so if you guys are new around here i just made a video recapping my entire 2019 every single major project that i I did I think there's like eight to nine major projects in that video I'll link that at the end of this video so you can check that out and I'd like to welcome you to subscribe if you're new around here if you're not new around here I'm glad to see you back again so I'm gonna go ahead and take off today is actually Christmas Eve I started filming this video Christmas Eve Eve so unfortunately 
I gotta go because it's the holidays. Is that unfortunate? I don't know. I guess it is. So thank you guys so much for watching. Like this video, comment, subscribe, do all the stuff. You know what it is, YouTube. I'll see you on the next one. I'm out.